Hey guys, Halo Warriors 91 here today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make good macro binoculars. Um, well, a lot of people have been asking, like, Michael MGF and all of them, how to make macro binoculars. I found a pretty good way to make macro binoculars, uh, and they look really good, and it doesn't take long to make them. So, uh, this is what they look like when they're done. They look really good. Credit goes to Flip Flip for the idea, but they look really good. Okay, and so I'm going to show you how to make them. First, you need one visor, black or gray, some scissors, white or any other color you want, and a decal paper. Okay, so I'm going to set this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the visor, and you want to. Second, I'm gonna move this. I need a place where it can fit. Okay, you want to take the visor and you want to cut it right about. Second. Right about there. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it and then show you what it should look like. Just a sec, I'm still cutting it. You may have heard it snap. But when it's done, it will look really good. Okay? Sec, it's almost done. Yeah, it's taking a couple of minutes to cut it. I'm gonna make some thin macro binoculars for you. Thin are the easiest to make. Second, almost done. One last side cut. Is it even? Almost. Now, with one little basic you want, you want to make sure they are even. If they're not even, then you pretty much messed up your macro binoculars. And you can still use it, but it doesn't look right. There we go, they're even. You want to come down to about right that size, right there. Okay, yeah. So let me grab a clone and I'll show you what they look like before we do anything else on them. We do a clone, and we're just gonna put these. So that's what they look like right now. They're pretty thin. So now what you wanna do is take this decal paper, and you have to do this step right after you finish cutting, because if you do it after you finish the painting, then it messes it up. So you just wanna cut a little slit. Right about that size. Okay, let me cut it out. I'll show you. And you want it to be a little longer than the macro binoculars. Just be about that size. Just gonna stick it on right here. Watch. Just a sec. Okay, so you got it like stuck on right there. I'm gonna fold the flaps down, the extra sides of it on it, and you gotta kind of press down on it hard, like that. So it looks like that. Pretty good right now. I mean, you can, if you just want it like this, then you can keep it like that. But uh, I'm gonna trim the sides away because the bottom's kind of. See, like I'm trimming the sides so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so it's pretty much trimmed. 
so now you have it trimmed like this. Okay. So it looks like that. Sorry for that noise. And now you want to come over here. Okay. Now, this is my customizing your area. It's a big mess right now. So you have the macro binoculars. You want to keep them on him, okay? Keep the macro binoculars on the clone. Because it's the easiest way to paint it right. Let me grab a paintbrush and we find out. Um, where did it go? I used an extra fine paintbrush, but... Just a sec. I need to find it. Oh, uh, let me just grab a different paintbrush because, I mean, the extra fine works the best. Hmm. There you go. Where did it go? Okay, so I can't find my extra fine paintbrush, but I'll just have to use something like this. I mean... The smaller the uh, tip, the better. But so you just want to take white paint. You know, I think I'm going to make mine silver. Okay. Actually, nah. I'm going to make mine. Yeah, I'll keep them white. So you want to open your white paint. Okay, white paint is open, and you just want to. Put a little, as much as you possibly. Okay, so that's enough. White paint, guys, okay? Just want to take a clone. Clone right there. Um, your paintbrush. Paint just a little. And then you want to paint over the sides like this. Okay? Yeah, just a little. See? Now, you're going to have to let it dry for about, depends how many layers you want on it. So you want to let it dry for about two hours. And this is just so you want, this is just because, oh yeah, and another aspect of this, you want to paint over the little parts of the decal. It'll keep the decal from going off. So, sides painted, sorry about that. Front's painted pretty much. I just gotta paint the last little part of it, so I'm gonna bring it up a little, like that. We're almost done here. Sorry about that noise, if you can hear it. Not sure what my dad's screaming about. So, uh, yeah, you got, except you want to give, sorry for the bad detail. So you want to cut, put a couple of layers on the top. Oh, and don't try and rush making this. It'll take about five minutes to get prepared and then about two hours to dry. Okay. So, uh, it's done now. And this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm not going to touch it, but it, move, it moves up and down. It should look like this. Like this, okay? It can move up and down, up and down. This is a larger version of it. Yeah, so that's all. Uh, please comment and subscribe, and you have to give me credit if you're going to make it. Okay, bye.